Hi everyone, I'm Janelle Tillotson. I'm a counselor at Laney College in Oakland. And I'm Kim Blackwell. I'm also a counselor at Laney College. And I've got a couple questions for you, Janelle. Okay, so, well, I got some questions for you. So what exactly is a community college counselor and how does it differ from other forms of counseling? Um, well, when I think of counseling, I think a lot of people maybe think of um, mental health counseling where they go to a therapist and they get help with issues like anxiety and depression. And, um, and I think that that is what most people consider when they think of the counseling. Or in high school, lots of uh, people have encounters with a high school counselor where that person may help them with their classes, their schedule. Uh, they may teach them how to prepare for college or for graduation. And that is sort of similar to what a community college counselor does. At a community college, we get students with all types of goals. They may want to earn a certificate to start a new job, earn an associate degree to change their career or transfer to the university. We basically help students make sense of community college, what are the courses required for whatever goal you have. If you don't have a goal, we help you try to find your goal. We help you with resources that you might need to uh, get a book or to get help financially or get a, a loan or, you know, just give you basic information on how to navigate the college. This is a collaborative relationship where we use our information that we know about how to get through college, how to access resources, combined with your knowledge about your learning style, what kind of uh, major, what kind of career you want to pursue to help you reach your goal of earning a degree from us or moving on to another institution to earn some other sort of certification or degree. So where an uh, instructor kind of helps you make sense of a particular subject, a community college counselor helps you make sense of college and all the different collective things that you've done in your previous college time to help understand what you need to do in the future. That's great. I get asked that question all the time. So I like the way you pulls it all together. So counselors kind of see the whole big picture, help students navigate through college, learn the language of college. Mm -hmm. So if you have a parent that went through college, it doesn't mean you're automatically going to understand it all. Right, and oftentimes it takes um, several generations of college going within the family to really understand how this institution works. And the institution was not designed for most of us to take advantage of it. So you really do need help in understanding how all these college experiences, and when I mean like all the schools you may have gone to, or um, all the different interests that you have, how those can uh, come together uh, to help you figure out what you want to study or where you want to study what you already know you want to do or um, help you understand what education you need to reach a certain career goal that you have. And maybe you didn't have a family member who went to college. Maybe you're the first person going. Does just picking up the catalog help you? <laughs> no, that catalog is a beast. <laughs> And I went to school for many years and I still have trouble with that thing. So yes, definitely having a real person help you understand all these rules and regulations. Um, as a community college student myself, a former community college student, I know that it really did help me. I know also that you, you can go through your schooling without a counselor. Um, you can get through it because I really felt like that's how I did it, but I made a lot of mistakes along the way. And uh, college is very, it's life changing and you want to get the most out of it that you can. And so counselors, I believe help with that, of course. <laughs> I'm, I have a bias, I admit it. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're both in Laney Counseling. 
general counseling. We would normally be on the third floor of the tower if we were on campus. Um, we offer quite a few services. What core services would you like to highlight? Well, I would say that there are no rules. Um, students come to us for various reasons. Um, one reason that students come to us is because they have a list of questions. So we are question answerers. Um, <laughs> we know the answer or we know the people that know the answers. So we can help find answers, we find resources, and we can point you in the right direction. Um, we help students find classes, we help them get into their majors if they know their majors, or we help them to discover their majors. We help them to, um, we're, we're their partners. Um, right. A lot of times students are very much in the moment, so they might be thinking about this particular semester, and I would say, and I think you mentioned this, that we, um, we see the big picture. Mm -hmm. So not just this semester or even this year or maybe this certificate or this associate degree, but I'd like to help students think about beyond. So transfer their bachelor's degree, their master's degree, their graduate school, medical school, law school, their career, their business. So that's fun. Um, I, have, <laughs> I have students in my life um, for, for their entire lives that I've known for years. And so because of that, when I see a student who's talking to me right now, I'm actually thinking about many, many, many years from now. So we help them to pick classes, but we help them to think about the big picture and they'll be, and they'll often say, wow, I never thought about that. So that's <laughs> fun. Um, so picking classes, thinking about majors. Another thing that's really critical is crisis when things come up. Um, we're really, really, really good in crisis. Um, we help negotiate and, and we're liaisons. We're big sisters and big brothers and aunties. Um, and so, um, you know, you don't have to do this thing alone. You mentioned it that, um, yeah, there are some people who are like, I could do this by myself. But why would you? Why would you? <laughs> that's, that's my job. That's your job. That's our job. Um, it, is, it is complicated. If you, if you say to yourself, I've been just trying to do this application. I've been trying to do this, this transfer application. I've been trying to do this financial aid. I've been, it's so complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated and we can help you with that. You don't have to do it by yourself. Right now we're working from home. You're doing online classes for the first time. Let us, let us help you with that. We can, we can help you with that. Um, we could point you in the direction of assistance, of tutoring, of financial aid, of wonderful programs that exist out there for right. first-time students, for students who um, are formerly incarcerated. I'm, I'm, I'm a part-time veteran counselor. There's so many resources out there, and a lot of times people don't discover them until it's their last semester. Oh, I didn't know there was this help out there. Um, well, we do. We do. Yeah, and the whole point is, it is a myth that you can do it yourself. <laughs> this is, you are navigating through an institution, a system, and there are so many moving parts, and you are not expected as a student to inherently know um, what you're supposed to do. The thing is, we work with a lot of first-generation college students, and your parents, your family can be super supportive of you, but not know the nuts and bolts about how to get through a day, you know, what, how to write an email to your instructor, you know, uh, what should a letter, um, a statement, a personal statement, what should that say? How should it be written? You know, these are things that we help students with that just aren't inherent mm -hmm. in even the most supportive families if you are going to college um, as the first person in your family to do so. So, you know, that's why um, our services with student education planning. So when you walk out of our office, you're going to have a document that shows you what classes to take. But the experience of meeting with us for that plan will help you understand um, the duration it will take, what kind of math class you might need, 
um, what classes you can avoid <laughs> that maybe you don't want to take um, and how you know everything that you're doing is going to fit with that longer term goal and it all is reflected in this one piece of paper so, a student education plan an SEP a SEP <laughs> and those, those college those, vocab for you right those are um, those are required often required for financial aid they're required if you're a veteran they're required if you're an EOPS educational opportunity programs and services and a lot of your instructors are going to require them and and we like them and so a lot of times students will ask when am I going to get out of here I want to mm -hmm. be here in two years so this is one of the tools that counselors love we can help them and we cannot answer the question of when you're going to graduate unless you have an education plan so if you just ask us in passing, I can't tell you. I need to know what you've taken. I need to know what you want to take. I need to know if you want to transfer which universities because that's going to change things. So you, a student, are a complex, uh, multi-dimensional individual, and we take that into account when we're creating plans for you. So we also um, will you know, evaluate your transcripts. A lot of students will come in and they're carrying some kind of shame or embarrassment because they have some W's or D's or F's from previous schools. Um, or We don't care about none of that. We, we see those all day, every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. when I that see, is no reflection of what you're going to do. That's right. When I see a transcript, my eyes go to A's, B's, C's, and some D's. I'm looking to see, okay, what can we use? <laughs> what can we use journey what what did you learn from that d or that f because we need to know that so that we can not make those mistakes again i don't i'm at home i don't have my office but i have my transcript with my c's d's and f's i went to a community college too and then we just keep it moving we want to know where where did you go so we evaluate transcripts we help with reinstatement we help with dismissal and we just we just like to help you reach whatever your goal is you tell us what your goal is and we help you with that goal so those are some of the things that we take care of well since there are um since we're trying to clear up you know what counseling is and help people understand what we do sometimes there are some misconceptions that come up what do you what would you say is a common myth about counseling and what might be the more proper truth behind that myth? I was going to ask you the same question too. So the number one myth, number one myth is that there are rules. There are no rules except for that we have hours, but <laughs> we have rules. But right. the reason you come see us, you don't have a rule, Steve. That's right. There are no rules. Okay. So you don't have to be, you know, a, a 2.0 student to see us. You could have a 0. 0.000 GPA and we will see you. Um, there's no myth that we only work with people who are transfer students. Oh, we only work with, you know, um, we don't, we don't work with anybody. Okay. We want to see you. That's the number one myth is that we only work with dot, dot, dot. We'll work with all students. That's right. That's why I love being a community college student, counselor. Because we would rather have you come to us to ask some question than to leave, to give up, um, to go off. <laughs> we would rather that you come to us and don't feel like it, if it's uh, a college related question, a life related question. Um, yeah, we want to know. We want to help. You know, and we may not be the person to provide the service, so we're going to help you find out who that person is or who that organization is or who that department is. Um, I would say um, one myth, and I mean, I think yours kind of encompasses pretty much everything that you can just <laughs> come to us as a resource if you just don't know something. But I would say, you know, you don't need to know what your major is to do a student education plan. Um, if you know that you want to get an associate degree, we can start with the general education. 
same for if you want to transfer. We can start with the general education requirements and just give you an idea of what that's going to look like. And in that meeting, we can talk about, you know, your major and your interests and uh, what you've done in your career path that may lead you to something new or something related to what you've already been doing or something that you uh, already love to do. So just come for the experience um, because it is a unique experience. Um, you're, you know, you, you may do it yourself at home, but you're not going to have all the resources in your head that we may have just because that's what we get paid to do, you know, for real. So that's, that's one myth, you know, we can help with your planning. If you don't know, you know, you need to have these intellectual conversations because this is your life, you know, and this is why we're here is to help you have these kind of intellectual conversations about your career, about where you want to be. I mean, we're in a career that we love, like we worked really hard. So it's good to have those conversations with people that maybe not in a career that you want to do, but we help you figure out what that career will be for you. Another myth is that we, we just pick classes. That we just pick classes, counselors just pick your classes, and that we're going to pick your classes for you. Um, oh, no. <laughs> So you're probably getting a sense that we want to, we're teachers, we're counselors and we're teachers and we want you, we will show you how to pick your classes and we will show you one of the things that we teach is decision making. Um, decision making about your major, decision making about where you'll go to school, decision making about your career, um, decision making about how you, how you choose your classes. We'll ask you questions about, do you have a family? Are you taking care of someone? How many hours do you work? So students will often say, I just have a quick question. And we will often say, well, we have a long <laughs> answer because we want you to be able to do these things for yourself. So um, we don't just pick classes. The counselors only speak English. There's only counselors that speak English at Lane. Nope, we've got counselors that speak English, Espanol, Cantonese, and we definitely need more languages. So Mandarin, Mandarin, Vietnamese, and Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are. Um, uh, here's another kind of simple myth, and that's that where um, there are no counselors in the evening, and even <laughs> before shelter in place, we're open in the evening, and now we're open till seven p.m. four days a week. So Monday through Thursday till 7 p.m. Uh, I can only make an appointment online. Nope, you can still call 510-464-3152. You wanna make an appointment on the telephone. Oh, and we will call you back. <laughs> number, so answer those block numbers. And we'll work with you. You know, we uh, are, have switched to online appointments via Zoom and that may work for people that understand the way Zoom works, but we understand that not all students do. And I've helped students do their education plan by phone. It is tricky, <laughs> but it's more important that you get the support. Um, it's more important that we work it out in a phone conversation uh, to get you the guidance that you need. So we definitely are here for you to work for you um, and get you your plan, even if your tech savvy is not there. But Kim, how would you say that a student could best utilize a counselor and counseling services? Um, I really love it when students are prepared. Um, when I love it when students come to appointments and they have their list of questions for me. Um, some students are a little more nervous. They feel like they're, they're taking my time and you know they're bothering me. This is my job. I'm getting paid. You're not coming into my home interrupting me. Well, you are coming into my home. <laughs> um, my job. No. This is my job. You're not I'm not doing you a favor. I work for you, okay? 
I love it when students have a list and we go down the list and we get as much done and we are both happy, okay? So try to be prepared. Think beforehand about what your questions are. There's no dumb question. Um, and, you know, once we go through the list, um, I might reprioritize because like we've been talking about, I, I have a sense of the big picture. Um, and that's, wow, that's the best is to be prepared for it. and be open-minded mm -hmm. to doing something different. Um, and I think taking a deep breath, um, coming to school brings up a lot of emotions for people. Yeah. It's both exciting and scary. Yeah. I'm taking a class this summer on how to teach online. Woo! <laughs> I almost cried tears the other day. It was, it's, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. And we understand that. But I think being open-minded, open-minded, uh, being, and understanding those emotions are real and it's okay. Um, and, and, and be willing to do some work. Like, they're not handing out degrees on uh, Lakeshore and East 14th and International. It's going to be some work. But if you have the right attitude and you know it's going to be some work, and you're open to some suggestions, we, we can do this. What do you think? As a counselor, um, I love being able to form relationships where I can be that kind of intellectual um, partner. So the way that you deal with like I've had and I'm what I'm saying I'm not even saying like you come to me like uh oh Janelle e equals mc squared like no I've had students I'm an intellectual partner to a student that's ready to cuss their teacher out because <laughs> they're angry and I have helped students calm down help them understand their relationship with their instructor when they need to advocate for themselves when they might need to calm down <laughs> a bit, when they are justified in their righteous anger. You know, uh, those are the times where I really feel like I can help a student bring those real feelings that come up. You know, this is supposed to be a professional place where you speak a certain way, you act a certain way. And, um, People ain't always feeling that <laughs> because college is just a holistic part of your whole life. It's this added endeavor in your life. It doesn't separate itself from your life. You yourself might be going to school to improve your life, right? So there's no distinction between, you know, your family and school. I mean, it really always overlaps. You know, when do you need to drop a class because things are getting hectic at work, you know, or something happened, you know, with shelter in place, we had to help students decide if they were going to drop classes or not. So like you said, the decision making part as well is um, what we help students with. We don't make the choice for you. I don't want that responsibility. It's your life. <laughs> but you will know as much information as you can to make a logical de decision on what to do next for school or for work or for family. And it is so, it is such relief to just have someone else for those <laughs> decisions, right? Besides yourself. And if you have never experienced that, Having someone else, if you're the type of person who is going to school and you have a life, which is all of us, and you are the decision maker and you make all these decisions by yourself, that's heavy. So I really love my job to be able to support other people. And I feel the karma comes back a lot. So I, it is my pleasure, it is our pleasure I work with a team of wonderful counselors and we meet and we love the work that we do. We love being able to support hardworking students who are also 
you know, members of this awesome city and awesome Bay Area. So, you know, we love what we do. So let us, let you know, let us be um, supportive with you to and for you. All right. So what we got next? Is that everything that we got to? Well, yeah, I mean, those are all of our questions. questions. And I hope you got some good information from our little interview. So now and we hope that you'll come in and visit with us and well, no coming in, but at least calling in, scheduling <laughs> via Zoom <laughs> so you can see us on the screen. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you soon.